Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Laurent Bukovza and today I'm going to present and perform the second movement of the Sonata number no. 18, Opus 31, number no. 3 by Beethoven. So if you do not know this movement, I suggest you click on the little numbers that's in the description right underneath that says performance and then you can listen to the movement first and then you can come back and enjoy it more. This movement is a scherzo. When I say scherzo, it's actually an acceleration of the menuet and trio. Therefore, scherzo should be at three beats, not here. Beethoven, there, scherzo at two four. Yes, only two beats. And he's going to use a sonata allegro form for that scherzo. Wow. Beethoven goes really far into breaking the rules right now. So I'm going to play a little bit of the beginning for you and I'm going to try also to teach a lot of students how to optimize their playing. It makes the piece a lot harder to play but so much better. So this beginning is very allegretto vivace. Allegretto means light. It's between Allegro and Andante, but that's not exactly a tempo. Allegretto is a tempo, but it's not only a tempo. Allegretto means something that's light and funny. Scherzo means light and funny, so this whole movement is humorous. And as you can see, the left hand is staccato all the way, and we have these accents that are on the half second beat. So we have. Then a two note slur. Again. And now pianissimo, and I insist for all the pianists, it says pianissimo. Beethoven, as I said, doesn't do it once, he does it everywhere. And I hear people playing like that. I understand it's a lot easier to play like that. But musically, I think you're really missing the point. Pay attention. Piano does not mean pianissimo. And in this piece, there's a lot of piano and pianissimo. And Beethoven knows what it means. So please pay attention to this. So I'm on measure uh, 13, 14. With a poco return in those, a little bit slow down. And now a tempo with a crescendo. Now forte with a sforzendo on the second one. Pianissimo again, and as we saw when we jump octaves, you see it's one octave higher than the first time. Nice. Same element. slow down and now fortissimo future pride that element is very important because that's the element of the second theme I said we're in a sonata allegro form you don't know what's a sonata allegro form check up there go watch the video I made just for you about what is a sonata allegro form learn it and then come back so not now we are in the exposition and I'm talking of the element the rhythmic element of the second theme. The first theme, which is this, is in two parts. The first part is when we have that. So go back to the beginning and then we have the second. So that first theme is kind of repeated and that goes to that bridge. And that bridge will lead to very specifically 32nd and 8th note then the rest 32nd and 8th note so if you're playing this way and I do not believe this is accurate so I'm gonna go slow this is not what's written what's written is and we have that in the recapitulation and then when Beethoven wants to write with a 16 you see here 
get this in right. So when you want the 16th, you write the 16th. When you want 32nd, you write 32nd. So when you change that rhythm, that makes the whole thing not right. We're gonna go to a double bar that can bring us back to the exposition again, but we're now we're gonna move to the development. And the development is interesting because we are in A flat major. And the sixth degree, because we're gonna go to F, should be F minor. But it's gonna go F major. And remember when I talked in the 16th sonata that he's using, he's using parallel major and minor, and that's what he does in here. So you see now, in the first movement, a little bit of the Tempest. In this second movement, we have a little bit of what he developed in the 16th sonata, the parallel major minor. And, interesting enough, here there's no accent. It's not. Not at all. It's one melodic line. Piano Subito will bring back the second theme. And as if it wasn't enough, he's gonna go to C, but C in a flat major should be C minor. He's not gonna do C minor, he's gonna do C, you got it, C major. There's no accents here either. Not. At measure 90, we have the transition that's going to lead us back to the recapitulation with typical Beethoven, huge contrast, piano and forte. And not only that, he's going to put the accents of beats. Actually, I'll let you discover that. It's so obvious when I play it, you're going to hear his accent. That sounds to be on the wrong beat purposefully. And then we have the recapitulation. And how is he going to bring the recapitulation? With the retardando, the same way he did here. With chromaticism. Yes, Beethoven loved chromaticism. Yes. So we're going to find the same elements. And of course, we're going to have the... Four. And instead of... Different key. But the same element, then we find the same second thing. And you see here it does the same when we have. We change the octaves, here it does. It. So the, even the second thing switches octave to give a different texture. And we're gonna have a very, very short coda that's gonna happen. I'm gonna go from 161. That should be the end. And he decides to add these 10 bars. Pianissimo. Pianissimo. Not piano. Please, please follow the score. It sounds so much better. This is for the second movement. Now I'll let you enjoy it without interruption.
you enjoyed my interpretation and explanation too of this second movement I try to be respectful of the rhythm the 30 seconds and the pianissimos I would like also to hear all the comments you have and all the questions you might have please do not hesitate write down your comments write down your questions I'll be happy to answer and maybe make a special video just to answer your questions if you want to know more about me you can follow me on all social media Facebook Instagram TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, or on my website that shows underneath www.laurentbukobza.net. I'll see you next week for the third movement of this 18th sonata. Thank you very much. Bye now.